Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, the all gracious, the all merciful. Hello to dear uh, viewers of this uh, class and session. Uh, I'm so honored to be at your service. The topic that we were talking about, if you remember, we were talking about uh, the types of communication and also the types of propagation. Of course, the propagation in our text and terminology means, you no. Know, uh, Islamic go good way of introduction. Of course, we uh, are benefiting from the uh, techniques which are common in the world of communications. And of course, uh, we will analyze uh, some of the techniques which are used in the uh, you know media against uh, religious denominations about, against religions against religiosity however uh, we will analyze the techniques and talk about different techniques of course uh, up to now we have uh, analyzed about uh, uh, 12 techniques in our previous discussions uh, today uh, we will talk about uh, other techniques which are used in the issue of uh, propagation. Uh, one of the techniques which are which, which is very important is the technique of disinformation and this technique is uh, used among the media imperialist very much. What is the disinformation technique? Disinformation technique is that the uh, it means that the creation or deletion of uh, information from public record records in the purpose of making a false record of an event or the action of a person or, or, or for example, uh, organization, including uh, outright uh, forgery of, for example, uh, photographs, records, you know, uh, everything. And they broadcast it in the form of half truth. So, what does it mean? It means that uh, sometimes, uh, you know, the media, okay, or those who are uh, doing, uh, you know, secular propagation or uh, atheistical, you no know, propagation, delete some parts of the truth and uh, or delete some part they they choose one part and say it as the general information of that idea or that event you know for example they uh, deform the form of the uh, photos or for example they delete some parts or they edit it so in any way uh, by the way of uh, uh, metamorphosism, or it, it is a kind of uh, technique that they uh, use to, uh, you know, uh, deform, and uh, in other in other meanings also reform the event and give it to the public. This is uh, from one hand. Uh, a good technique, but from majority or from the most bad technique. You know, uh, this technique uh, from that point that, for example, you want to show just the good points, or you want to, uh, for example, uh, disfame a person or insult a person or a personality, and you give wrong information against that person, okay, it is it becomes negative so if you want to for example show just uh, the beauties of something although it is uh, uh, positive or it is good or for example prescribable but uh, you have to show whole the generality okay and this technique also is used some by some of the orientalists or those who want to uh, broadcast the concept of Islamophobia or for example religiophobia I don't know any phobias they just uh, choose one part of for example Quran or the Bible Old Testament I don't know from 
chakra, from anything, from any part of the uh, anything which are related to the, to the uh, for example, uh, religions or denominations, they just select one part and say this is Islam, for example. For, for example, they just take uh, the verses which are related to uh, war or jihad or etc. Without interpreting that verse, without saying that why, in which time, in which condition this verse, uh, this verse or this chapter or surah was revealed, without talking about these things, that just they show the evidence and uh, saying, look, this is the Quran. This is very, uh, I know, uh, unjust way of introducing one religion and this is not fair. You know, in Quran, for example, or in even in the Old Testament, if you find some verses about the war, okay, we have to look at the conditions. Sometimes it is, or majority, they were for the defense. You know, the uh, you know, the exteriors, those who are living out, uh, outside, for example, the Islamic territory, they had attacked. So, uh, what should the army do for example they have to they want they must sit back and look at the you know the enemy which is destroying uh, and distracting for example the country or the territory for sure you will defend and in all over the world you see that point okay it is not like the world wars world wars are we happened although it did, the main purpose was no extending the borders. One country just to gain, or for example, uh, gain the victory over other countries and uh, adding that country to his country, to its country, okay. So they have attacked and near 80 million people have been killed and slaughtered during the two, for example, second, the, the first and the second world war, the two wars. The world wars, 80 million people have been, you know, killed. Okay, just for example, for uh, extending the territory, this was the justification. But sometimes it is for defense. Okay, so we have to refer to the interpretation, to the origin, the reasons, the conditions that why that had happened. Okay, so this technique. Uh, when it is used to, uh, you know, this fame or insult the religion, okay, it can be uh, useful, which we don't use it, for example, because we, when we are talking about the Islamic uh, propagation, even if we want to use this point, okay, to some extent we can be benefit to some extent of this technique. For example, uh, you are talking to a group of uh, ordinary people, plain folks, or the common men, or just the, uh, for example, the community, one community. Okay, so when you are going to talk about, uh, you want to encourage them, okay, uh, and to encourage them to be more uh, ethical, okay. You come and talk about, for example, uh, the heavens, for example, the paradise, that if you say uh, good things, if you do good, you will go to paradise. This is the paradise. Okay, For that moment, maybe talking about, uh, maybe just it is a uh, uh, hypothesis, maybe talking about the hell, talking about the God's wrath and anger, in that situation, in that the first, very first uh, step is not prescribable and it's not advised. Maybe at the second, third or the uh, you know, extra sessions you will talk about the other aspects of you know, God's punishment and etc. However, for the first session, you'd better talk about the generalities, Talk about the good news, talk about the good 
uh, admonitions, talking about the good reflections, and the verses which are talking about good, uh, as a matter of fact, points. In the same line with this technique, which is the uh, disinformation, I want to introduce other technique, which is, uh, you know, uh, euphemism. Euphemism is one of the other techniques which is used, and it is, uh, it is very prescribable, which you talk to the people in an innocuous way, in a, for example, uh, in a way that uh, the people uh, would like it. Of course, I have talked about, uh, you know, in general, in our previous sessions, in this technique, just I want to connect this technique to this, uh, this information that in this information, you just use some parts of the truth, just one part of the reality. In euphemism also, when you want to talk to people, for example, to a group or to the audience, and uh, if you want to use the direct word, it will be insulting. It will be offensive. So you want to use a good word, and uh, for example, to... Uh, address the audience in that way and say that look you are these people and uh, for example but in a good way you talk to the people in an indirect way for example uh, you are talking to a group of uh, I don't know uh, people who are living uh, in the European countries okay you know in the European countries when you want to talk to the people Okay, mostly the people are exactly like, uh, you know, the, I, I can say that, that kind of uh, old traditional ways of life, okay, are changed and they become modern, okay. So the relation between the family members, the father and the children, the parents and the children, are not, uh, is not like the for example, not very far away, 30 years ago or 40 years ago. There are people, uh, I, have my, I have personally met people who have not seen their, for example, parents for 16 years. Can you believe it? They are alive, they are living in another city, at the same country, okay, but they haven't seen each other for 16 years. Okay. For us, for Muslims, which we are talking about the, uh, you know, relation with the kings, okay, and in Islamic traditions, when we talk about, you know, having relations with the family members, it is prescribed that much, and that there are many, many uh, spiritual rewards for that issue. This concept is not happening, not in all of them, but majority of the, uh, or at least the 50% of the people of the West, of course. And you are going to talk about to these people. You don't know how to talk to them, that, for example, it is not offensive to them. I myself used one time one word, and they liked it, but I said my uh, purpose, and I really uh, make them understood my point. I told them, you are like robots. You have robotic, for example, way of life. Okay. Robotic way of life, robot by itself is not bad. Okay. But does a robot have a sense? Does it have feeling? You know, from this aspect, they will understand that what I'm telling them. So Euphemism is in this part. This is somehow related to the disinformation technique, which, as I told you, for example, you say or you hide one part of reality or you uh, delete uh, some parts and uh, tell that point in, for example, another uh, form, in a good form. So. In Islamic way of propagation, we can be benefited from this way. Look at the Islamic leaders, 
For example, look at the supreme leader of, for example, uh, Iran's lectures. He never uh, complained people. He never uh, called the people with bad names. He never labels the audience. He always talk about uh, encouraging words, about emotional words, about the, thing, the things that, you know, make the people to feel they are heroes, you know. This is a very good technique. Even in the technique of, there is another technique which I talked about before, of course, just I want to point out, euphoria, which is very similar to euphemism. In euphoria, uh, considering using the euphemistic way of uh, addressing the people, but also you add something, and that is emotional, and that is uh, enthusiastic or, or uh, accentuate accentuate the positive sense of the audience by talking to them that, for example, uh, you are heroes. You are the people which are f f uh, full of, for example, emotions. Euphoria means this, you know, encouraging the others by using the words which is encouraging. And this is a co another technique, and it is also used in uh, the media. Okay, but this is very good technique. You know, we in our Islamic techniques we can use this technique, and this is very good. And uh, you always talk about talk about the positive points. You know, like the honeybee. Honeybee goes and uh, take the uh, and the get benefits from the flowers, and its product is honey. From best to best, okay, this is the product of a honeybee. So if we will, we can be like the honeybee, use the positive words, positive verbs, positive nouns, positive adjectives. In that case, your audience will be happy of your way of communication and discussion, and you will gain more benefits from your uh, discussion. Okay, today we talked about... Uh, three techniques, disinformation, euphemism, and euphoria. Uh, this is in addition to other techniques we talked about, for example, about the bandwagon, we talked about transfer, we talked about compare and contrast, faulty cause and effect, we talked about demonizing the enemy, we talked about agenda setting, of course I will talk about agenda setting more, or other tens of techniques that we had talked about and I hope that this will be beneficial for you until next program and talking about other techniques wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh